Welcome. Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. Let's get All right, good morning. Welcome to the Iron Horse Model Railroad. Today, I'm going to be assembling this mountain chalet in the HO scale. And the reason why we're doing it in HO scale is I had a customer buy this guy, send it back to me, and ask me to go ahead and assemble it for them. And I want to make sure I got a real good video out there for my customers. Um, to, if they're wanting to do it themselves, obviously. I need a real good video out there. So this is sort of how it looks when I send it out, but um, I'm not going to go through all the pieces right now. Um, what we're going to be doing first today is the dovetail joint on your bases. Basically, we're going to be doing all the gray pieces that require dovetail, dovetail joint assembly in the first part of this video. There we go. Alright. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to pull off all this flashing. I'm going to clean all these up. Pull off all the flashing. Same on these, and then I'll come back to you when they're ready to assemble. I'm going to have some metal files. I'm going to have a number 11 blade. And that's going to help me get these dovetail joints fitted in. All these edges. So this is going to match up and go right here, okay? okay. Now, we'll see it won't just push down by itself and snap in. We're going to have to clean it up. So why don't you take this one? Pops right in, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we're just going to make sure we're flat. And what we're going to do is take it back apart very gently. Okay. Now, we are going to make sure we're on this parchment paper. And can I do it? You can. So, look. Hold on. Let me do a little bit. I'm going to go right down this edge. And then and down on this one. You can keep going all across the top and the inside. Do you push it in yourself? Yeah. Kind of satisfying when it pops down in there. Push. <laughs> there, there, there. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. All right, so look here. That ain't hard. We're going to flip it over here and just get it as level as we can. Why did you get glue on your fingers with this? Dry. All right, now we're gonna let that dry. Got to do this side. We do. All right, now I'm gonna do this side because we should have done that first. I just put more weight on it. I just weigh more. Oh well. Mm -hmm. 
We'll get them down a little bit. Now, you have the base of the Mountain Chalet and HO right here. So this is a pretty big model. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting this roof put together here. We're going to finish it up. Yeah, AJ's over there in the house. We're gonna, yes, please do. Why don't... Hi, guys. This is piece O, P, and Q is where they go. And I'm going to work on this booger here. Alright, welcome back to the HO Scale Shop ASMP. We've got all the roofing done. We got the bases and the sidewalks done. Now we got to do the dovetail joints on a couple walls. We can start to assemble and we can start putting these guys here on top of their place on the roof. And uh, we can start to assemble some. We've still got to print the remainder of these walls. Their the printing's not done on them yet. So, these, I don't want to jinx them, but had really fit surprisingly well straight out of the printer, which I'm really not used to happening. But during the test then, we hadn't cleaned them out at all and I was able to snap them straight in, which is a really good sign. See, there was no filing in this one. Those uh, base and roof pieces are thicker a little bit and they had to be filed. Different filament too, different color. That can affect things. So you got your wall piece here. We're gonna leave it like this to dry though. We'll do the same thing on this one. 
Hey, Gracie. You don't have to go out right now, Gracie. You can wait a minute. Now, this one might not be as clean. It didn't feel like it when I was putting the glue on. I did check it, too. But, um, yeah, well, I'll stand corrected. I'm good at being wrong sometimes. So that's what you're gonna get. We're gonna leave it like this to dry. Next, the wall piece. Here's a wall piece. And these are roofing pieces here. it like this and these will sit like this so we go there Alright, we're going to have to let this dry and then we're going to come back and put what wall pieces together that we can. Alright, we're going to go ahead and assemble what we can with what's printed. <clears throat> what's wrong, we are going to be able to assemble this corner and this corner. If I can find my other little piece. Uh -oh. There it is. Alright. So, start with a
now that you get all your windows taken care of, put your window uh, filament on the inside now. And once these are dry, you want to do the roof inserts. So they are numbered one and two. grooves cut in here so you can just match this up these to dry. So these are going to be set aside so I can get some more parts. All right. Now. All right, we're gonna see if we can't make a little more progress. We're gonna mess around and finish this here soon. Here we go. We're going to come in and do, uh, we're going to actually attach this part of the roof, but at a later time. We've got little uh, accessories to add today to this model here. And we'll see if we can do it where everybody at home can see. Actually, this is what we probably need to do. I want to do this a minute anyway. Transition for y'all. Y'all probably tired of looking at it that way anyway. Alright, now. 
if you are still watching, thank you very much. I appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Click the bell icon. Don't forget to share this with your other model and friends. Thank you very much. We are going to have to let uh, what's done dry. Come back to y'all in a minute. Alright, we got you switched over here because we're going to be putting deck railings on here. We're going to come in and uh, finishing up about the last things we're going to be able to do uh, prior to shipping it all now. And welcome back. I'm gonna finish this guy up. Now we just have to put the deck railings here. And then the customer will have to put the beams in because I can't ship it with the beams in there. Um, there's stairs that go here and I've got those together. We got two sets of these made they'll go together and come right here here are the memes there's another little sidewalk that goes back here I have in here as well and then a roof that goes over this that I'm not able to put together yet and so that's all that's left and then we'll be able to ship this out to this guy this is the HO scale mountain chalet 
It is a big kit. And it's... Not a novice assembly, I wouldn't think. So you got beams that go here to here, here to here, stairs here, beams go here to here, beams go here to here, the beam goes here to here, sidewalk goes, another sidewalk goes back here with a beam that are there, there's a driveway here with a cover I'm not able to put on right now. This is the Aben the HO scale mountain chalet, how to assemble it. We appreciate you watching with us. Thank you very much. This is Brian with the Iron Horse Model Railroad encouraging you to subscribe. If you have not already, let's click the bell icon and don't forget to share this with your other model and friends. You can find this model on Etsy. And there is a link in the description. If you're interested in getting one, we offer this model in Z N and HO scales. Let's go.